happening. So as a Miami Heat fan, I always get asked, I want Damian Lillard on the Heat. I mean, if he came, he came, and I like him as a scorer and all that, but I don't have no expectations for him, as I, I, I alluded. I remember the 2019 Western Conference Finals against Golden State. And remember, Steph Curry, Clay, Durant were hurt, and he had a chance to shine. They were leading three or four of those, probably all those games at halftime, and Golden State came back. And Draymond Green outguarded Damon Lillard, and he never been the same since because – Damon's decline with each passing year. I go back to 2014 when he was flexing. He looked like he was going to be almost the second coming of Dwayne Wade and that he was hitting some big shots. And he, you know, and then they went against San Antonio and said, Ron got that behind, ate up. I was darned with that game in the first quarter. Tony Parker ate him for breakfast. Then he waved off Paul George. You know, I say he spends most of his time wanting to be Dame Dollar. I just don't be buying him like that big player. So, I mean, I'm a Heat fan, but I'm not going to be pressed one way or the other if they get him or not because I just don't quite feel that way about him. And the same thing with James Harden. And I'm tripping on these heads on sticks on TV. Keep talking about these two. Like, oh, these two are going to make a difference or you got to have them. What have they done to prove besides being high-volume scorers, athletic, and, and, and having, you know, Hall of Fame, say top 75, you know, careers, but they've been in Steph Curry's shadow. And Steph's got hardware, multiple. These cats, they they spend their hard way, hardware either on the microphone or in the clubs. Okay, let's keep it hunted. And I don't feel that neither one of them merits all this attention. It's not like, oh, we're going to get this guy. That's going to be the turning point, you know. It ain't like back in the day, imagine Johnson's Lakers or Bird Celtics or uh, you know, you can go up to Jordan's Bulls, or you could say, uh, uh, oh, Sha- Shaq and Kobe with the Lakers. There's certain teams that they, or the Warriors, you pick a piece of guy and you go, oh, yeah, that's a good fit. I don't know. Like if if uh, Harden and Lillard were like Leon Barbosa, who went to Golden State and could run late and play at the second team, I say, okay, that's that, that, you know. But these cats still want to start, they still want to stat pad. But I don't think they're going to make those teams better. So, I mean, it's a slow season to talk about cats who were high-volume scorers, but they're not difference makers. Make a lot of money, great stat padding, but I don't see the end results for all the hype that they get. You know, so, and I like Dame, and I like Harden, what they've done. You know, I like watching any move, you know, things they've done, but I don't expect nothing come April. I just don't. They regular season. They they for the fantasy. They're not the reality. That's just my thoughts. But you tell me what you think. Please like, subscribe, what with those comments. And I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another. Share the video if you like, and I'm out.